What's going on my crew? This is Rusty and welcome to another episode of Rusty Builds. In today's episode, we've got a lot to talk about. First, I wanted to climb up here, show you guys the wonderful landscape that we've got. And uh, I want you guys to remember this, this whole big landscape, because hopefully within the next, I don't know, 10, 20 episodes, this entire place will be vastly different from the way it is now. So this uh, counts as a before shot. Uh, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I have been um, working a lot on the channel. We're going to head back to the base over here. Um, and trying to make it uh, better and more let's play-ish and less kind of just me getting in front of a camera talking to it. The reason for this is, uh, as I kind of discussed my reason for starting YouTube channel a couple, a while ago, um, was to really make something that I was proud of. And recently, I haven't really been proud of a lot of the stuff that I've made, but um, I've been doing a little bit of research, and I'm starting to become proud of the content that I'm getting, or giving out again. Um, specifically, with our latest Stardew Valley episode, um, not the one that comes out tomorrow, but the one that will come out next week, I think, um, you'll notice that the content has changed quite a bit for the better. Uh, and in here, um, I have done quite a bit as well. All right, so we are headed down to our base because uh, that's kind of where I wanted to show you guys uh, the first little bits of first little bits of what I did off camera. Um, I also want to see if we can get a chicken to come. Nope. So I added walls. <laughs> um, before we were kind of just stone. And I really wanted to use this granite all the way around. I tested the idea of leaving this part open, but it just didn't really feel right. So we added these walls. I also found it increasingly difficult. We've got kind of an optical illusion going on here. It looks symmetrical. It's not at all because um, around it, it is. So we've got four, two, one, two, three then the five, then the three. And this is two instead of, um, wait, what did I do differently again? I forget. Anyways, um, so this looks a lot better. It makes me feel better about it. And I tried to structure it so it looks like um, it was already here uh, and the cavern kind of has grown in on it. Um, like, I added this little piece here, which kind of makes it feel like there's already, or there was something here already. I also have to apologize. It looks like I'm getting a lot of frames that have kind of dropped. And I'm going to have to see if I can fix that. Um, did a little bit of mining, got some more diamonds. But that's pretty much it off camera. We're going to go back to the surface and want to kind of walk around and talk about what I want to do for the next couple episodes. All right, you guys, we're up at the surface. Bet you're wondering what this one thing here is all about. Um, this is sort of a placeholder for a ruin build that I want to make. So, my thought process is that where we're building, I want it to sort of feel like it was built in an old ruin. And so to do that, I want to build something on the surface that's kind of uh, mysterious, maybe like some sort of temple ruin or something like that. But I just want it to be kind of small. Um, so we're going to be working on three projects, actually, uh, throughout uh, the next few weeks. Uh, is it getting dark? It is getting dark. Let's head to the town because I don't want to go back down there. Um, so the ruin build is going to be one. Um, then over here, 
in this town that we visited uh, in the last episode, I believe. Uh, this is going to be the other build that we do. Uh, the second build, rather. Um, I'm trying to talk and run as fast as I can. <laughs> uh, so the idea here is that we're going to be building um, this town up a bit. And I want to spend some time in this next few episodes over here. Yeah. And essentially, I want to yeah. uh, first clear out the forest, but also uh, begin to make something of this wonderful, beautiful little town. And I'm not sure a story yet, but that's something we'll obviously develop over time. Yeah. Um, but we're not going to be changing like too, too much in the way of the... Um, actual town structure itself besides you know adding buildings but what I want to do is I want to clear this town and then I want to work on one building at a time so maybe we'll tackle the blacksmith um, maybe we'll add a church uh, maybe we'll you know work on this or that but leaving these houses here and um, just kind of building up the ooh pumpkin pie that's the first time I've seen a pumpkin pie in a village chest I hope you eat that. Um, leaving the buildings mostly intact and just kind of adding to. And as we grow and develop uh, our, well, my patience and tolerance with being able to build these things, uh, we'll be able to do further builds and more complicated builds. Um, so alongside that, uh, I also want to expand the little area around here and we're going to be building a river so at the end of last season um i started building like a little river thing and i was noticing it was pretty straight it wasn't very windy um but i want to build the river here and i want it to wind around this little forested area and into here and then we're gonna mostly clear quite a bit of this forest and i want to make it into um a little more of a forest forest so it's gonna be much darker we're gonna add a few different varieties of trees not just um, birch and oak but I want to put in some dark oak and I want to put in some of these larger trees as well as large mushrooms um, and just kind of give it a feel of uh, being a dark forest and I would like to also if we can um, somehow find a way to extract some of the pod soul over there uh, and maybe we'll do that by adding larger trees that adds a natural pod soul area around it um, but hopefully we'll be able to get Silk Touch and maybe that'll give us a good reason to get Silk Touch uh, on one of our, um, our tools. So kind of the steps in that right direction are going to be uh, doing a lot of clearing over the next uh, little bit. And um, then, yeah, so if we come up over on this side uh, we've got a few different things uh, to kind of keep in mind we got this floating rock up here which has a story of some sort to tell and we've got this abandoned village over here so the question becomes do we leave the abandoned village the way it is do we make it into a bigger village but leave it abandoned or do we resurrect the village and I've always liked pretty stat or um pretty active worlds so like we can make a story for why this was abandoned and revive it there's no reason why we can't do that um but we do need a story for why it was abandoned in the first place so we've got those other two very large projects that are sort of in the works um and then of course we need to go back here uh, we've got the swamp back here. We've got lots of story potential. We've got the mesa biome over there, which doesn't necessarily need a story, um, but it's a good place to get materials. More importantly, though, 
is this whole landscaping thing that I was what I, that I was mentioning. Let me get the words right here. Uh, so the way it's going to work is this river right here is needing to be completed. Uh, and so this river kind of comes around here and around there and goes off to somewhere. But really what I want to work on is this forested area right here. Between this hill and this mountain, we're going to work on making this all change into the pine forest. And we're going to add a winding river that comes down to here. We're limiting ourselves because, yes, we could do all of this. We could do this. We could do that and, you know, connect all everything together. We will eventually. But right now, I want to work on small projects. I want to work on it one step at a time. And I don't want to overwhelm myself because I can very easily do that. And then what we're going to do, we've already got these little connecting pieces that are kind of there. So we're going to wind the river this way, going to this lake, and going through the mountain into this area. Okay, so all of that combined, and what we'll get is we'll get this cut-in ravine looking thing. That's not that deep, but, you know, it's going to be below the thing. And so what we're going to do, what I'm going to do, is I'm going to have kind of some slopes, some cliffs, uh, some really cool landscaping things and then like I said we'll have this really dense forest cut in all around our ruin and we're gonna need to go to that swampy area to get some vines to start growing those and we'll we'll just make this a super dark and spooky area and then I was thinking we could have a abandoned path heading this way to the ruin and then start an abandoned path heading this way with a rickety old bridge that will be hanging out somewhere around here, maybe right over here, and a path that will lead out to the abandoned village. So the deadline for this project um, area right here is going to be hopefully end of year, but I'm willing to give myself till mid-January. So. What I'm going to do off camera is I am going to be um, planning out where some of this stuff goes and picking a couple different buildings, uh, which I would like to do through a poll uh, in this video if I can remember to do it. And nothing, they won't be too big, so if you like suggest, you know, a coliseum or something crazy like that, uh, I'm going to have to say no. Um, I would like the themes to be something medieval based. Uh, so we'll go with that and then um, we'll we'll plan those out as well in either the next episode or the episode after next um, and we'll get to it so I'm pretty excited about this uh, and also we are going to be um, continuing to try and work on making the quality of these videos even better so normally uh, what I want to spend the episodes doing from now on is doing a lot of showing things on camera to you guys rather than what I have been doing which is building things off camera and then showing them to you afterwards so we're gonna be doing me showing you guys me building so I'm gonna record most if not all of me like clearing this forest or whatever um, I might when I have some extra money um, get a spare account and actually show me like put one of the the people in, in creative mode up here and show me clearing the forest for instance something like that just to give you guys something to show that you know I'm working on it and give it a little bit of action to it um, and then of course we'll come back and I'll, and I'll talk about what I'm doing and we'll go over it instead of these videos where I just kind of sit here and say okay this is what we're gonna do and then we kind of walk around and, and talk which is fine if it's a video like this um, but more importantly, I really, really want to give better content to you guys, and I think this is the way to do it because the um, whoops, the episode is called Rusty Builds, not, you know, Rusty Builds and then shows you guys what I built. So we'll get to that, 
in another upcoming episode. But that's going to do it for today's episode. Um, I hope you guys did enjoy. You guys have asked in the past for kind of a walk and talk type episode. And uh, with me being back from surgery and having lots of time, uh, this is pretty easy for me to do. Uh, and if I can get into the routine of doing this sort of thing, uh, then we can do more uh, episodes like this. So anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. If you did like the video, maybe uh, consider subscribing. That'd be cool. But until next time, happy mining and crafting.